y'all, and welcome to Happy Art Creations. I'm Tammy. Um, you know what? I saw a video today that Rinska Downa had done. Uh, she did a domino, like a domino Dutch pour, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And she wasn't sure if she just wasn't sure of it, is what she said. And she just didn't know. But you know what? I saw something in it and I thought, oh, that's so pretty. I think I'll try it and let's see how it turns out. So anyhow, I did. And mine turned out to kind of look like um, <laughs> irises. And boy, mine are in bloom in my yard. Let me show you the first two that I've done. Okay, here's this one. Is that not gorgeous? And I'm going to show you how I got this result. And then this one. Oop. I'm still getting used to that camera. Anyhow, absolutely gorgeous. I'm so very happy with these. I'm going to try one more and kind of have an iris series, kind of, sort of. We'll see. Anyhow, I've got my canvas here. It's already been uh, taped on the back. Everything's ready to go. All I need to do now is to go ahead and pour the, um, the white on top. Um, when there are small canvases like this and you want a real smooth... Uh, you go ahead and uh, pour it over there like that, and just looking at it, I can see I got like a little booger hanging in there, um, which I'll get off, and I'm just going to wipe down my sides. So let me get a napkin. Remember, I said to always keep your uh, tweezers close by. Well, there's a reason right there. We had a little booger, and then I think I see another one. We're going to get that too. There we go. We did. All right, it looks gorgeous. Okay. All right, so my colors today, I think, you know, what's blooming in my yard are the bright purples and the white, purple and whites, and that kind of stuff are going on. So I thought, well, I think I'll use similar colors. Don't put any green in like that one and, and just go with it. So let me, I think I see a bubble. So this is something you always do anyhow, is to make sure. Well, don't tell me. I got to go to my old standby. I do. There we go. Old standby. I don't understand why that one uses up paint so quickly. Or not paint, gas. Butane. Oh well. Anyhow, so let's go. The, the one thing about this is that you don't want to put too much on. This is a 6x6 six six, uh, canvas. And so you just want to put in enough that you'll be able to blow in and still be in in a balance inside your canvas walls. This one I do not want to go over the sides. Most of the time I do, but with this particular one, I think it's gonna be pretty not going over the sides, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Um, just so you know, I am using, before I get started, I have used, this is a, a color shift. Um, this one's called Purple Flash, which is gorgeous, and if you see the lid, there we go. Anyhow, I'm not going to show you that, but anyhow, they go back and forth. Uh, this one is an aqua, aqua flash. And then this one is the blue violet flash. Really pretty. I used the aqua flash in the last, in that other one that had the green in it. So um, I wanted to show you those are different. The rest of these were some that I already had mixed up, made up to go, but I'll try to remember as I go along, but I will post them in. Um, in the bottom of the drop down on the video. I think I'm going to start with purple. Okay, I'm going to start off with just a little dot, y'all. And try to stay focused and not get too big. There we go. See how tiny that is? Because we're going to be adding this in. Then I'm going to add a little bit of the, the purple flash. And she's layered it kind of like you layer dominoes when you want to see them. I believe I had seen someone else do it, but I can't remember. Um, now I'm going to add a little bit of the Quidacridone Magenta. Ooh, whoa, that was close. And then I'm going to add some of the Phthalo Blue. Quidacridone Magenta is from uh, Golden. And the Phthalo Blue also. Looky there. Isn't that gorgeous? And on top of that, I'm going to put the, um, what was it, the blue violet flash, I believe it was. Ooh. I don't know. Do I want to put gold in this one? I'm almost tempted. Can you believe it not to? 
Hmm, I'm thinking I'm at a little drop of white. I don't know why, but I feel the need. There we go. So what I'm going to do with that, oh, I want to so bad put a little drop of gold, so let me do that. I, I just can't help myself. I think it needs something, so maybe right in there. It almost looks like a pretty flower right there already. All right, whenever you have these little drops on your canvas, here's a quick tip. Just take your finger, look at that, and just wipe it off. It, it generally helps with that. You can do that, okay? So let me go ahead and she did the top and the bottom. Okay, let's see. And she blew, so I'm, I'm going to blow like that. She used a blow dryer, but she also used um, a bigger canvas, and mine's not. Okay. I'm going to keep it such as that, because I already like the way that looks, and that looks like it just might be my... Let's see. Pop some bubbles. Oh, look at the cells already forming. Ooh, how pretty is that? All right, I'm going to turn it, I think, this way, and I'm going to blow up and out, and I might bring the beard, the bearded iris, down here at the bottom. So let's see how it works. I hope I get this right. How's that? And then bring the little part right here. I'm going to try to be very gentle because I have not been gentle always. All right, looks like so far that I have not gone over the sides. Not quite done, but now I want to show you how I went about after I get these bubbles, how I get the ruffle in. Because my bearded irises have ruffles. Not to be confused with ruffles that have ridges. All right, I'm goofy. I'm so blonde, y'all. That's just the way life is in my house. All right, my husband speaks again, fluent Blondinese. Anybody else? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna bring this around like this. See my ruffles? And all of this is, and I'm gonna bring that in like that. All this is is a simple skewer that I cut, okay? Um, then I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna try to come in from this side and bring it, all these colors, and bring that into the middle there. This one I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up. And I'm gonna bring this one back because I didn't like the way it was gonna go in like that, okay? Then I'm gonna come down at the bottom, again, starting here. I don't know about you, but that's pretty gorgeous, okay? Now, one thing I have to be careful, sometimes I like to overwork things. And I don't want to overwork it, but I do want to do a few little things left, okay? This right here. Let's see if I can get those little spots to be more of a ruffle instead of a whatever, squiggly. And then you see these right here and on this side? That's part of the ruffle, I'm calling it, okay? So I want to do a simple, a simple ruffle. And there are some ruffles in flowers that are a little bit more jaggedy. They actually have points, it almost looks like. Um, they're not my favorite. I did the smaller one, I did that with it. But again, I think it's gorgeous. And I can bring this up and smooth that out. Kind of make them all one. This one here too. Smooth it out. And I'm going to try hmm, to put a separation here. Let's see if I can do that. You can also take color, and I'm going to do this very carefully. Take a little bit of blue and dot it beside my, my thing here. And I'm going to go in, and I'm going to start in the middle where it's darker already and come down and see that little line. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to say I'm going to show you right there and then I'm going to bring it up just a little for you. 
See the little blue line? Okay, to separate it out. I don't want to do too much. Um, but this is just about finished. Let me get my orientation back again. Where was it? Was that it? No, like that. Alrighty. So I'm absolutely adoring this one. Um, remember, don't overwork. Don't overwork. Okay. Um, you can work on it as it dries a little bit. You'll be able to do it, but basically, I don't know. I'm going to call this one done because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I feel like there's still something, maybe a continuation here, just a little bit more and bringing it in. But, you know, you touch it, you mess it up, and I don't want to do that. So let me go ahead and... torch. I don't have a whole lot of cells coming up, just a few, which is fine. I don't want to overdo it. You do not want to over, overdo it. Let me raise this up. Um, let's see. This one right here is what I'm going to call... Hmm. I don't know which one I think is the main... Usually it's the larger one, which is this one right here. So let's let's just look at it like that. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. It's so, so pretty. And it really does have that iris effect. Um, I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful for today. You know, we're only promised today, so let's make it a happy day. Thank you for visiting me. I'm so glad that you came. I hope your day is grand and your evening is even better. So um, I'll talk to you soon. Toodaloo. Bye-bye.